to all of my American viewers, happy Thanksgiving. Um, obviously, with today being a holiday, I didn't get a whole lot written. Um, I only spent um, kind of a short time going through and just, again, making some, making some small edits to an old short story of mine. Um, I've spoken before that around holidays or writing around holidays, you, you need to get something done, but you don't necessarily need to get a ton done if you're trying to sort of be consistent with your writing. Um, that's often why when what you see with me here is, you know, not a whole lot done, but just getting a little bit to keep the momentum going. Um, unfortunately, what happens is, is people tend to give themselves breaks around, um, certain events and they don't realize how much it, it tends to build up. Um, a good example basically would be if someone, um, was to avoid writing, um, say, on the weekends. So they write Monday to Friday, take weekends off, and they give themselves the holidays off too, right? And they get, in addition to holidays, they also give themselves, um, you know, the occasional vacation day, the occasional, um, you know, birthday for them and their family, whatever, right? And what happens is, is people don't realize that adds up to the point where about a 30-year year is not going to be spent writing, if you start treating it that way. Um, not that I necessarily advocate for, you know, everyone needing to write every single day. This, this is something that, that's worked for me. But if you're someone who's trying to be consistent with your writing, that's potentially trying to write every day or be consistent with it, taking days off tends to compound, um, especially when you have them pre-planned out. Um, it's a lot like, and this, this is a very similar speech that I give to my clients, um, when I train them is, um, they often basically will talk about, um, like their diet and, and they'll, they'll say something very similar, I think to people who have these sort of writing schedule where it's like, yeah, I'm good with my diet five days a week, but on the weekends I tend to splurge. And then obviously on holidays and birthdays and side events, I, I tend to tend to, you know, sort of splurge. Um, but I'm good, you know, five days a week. And then again, just weekends and the occasional, you know, holiday or birthday or whatever. And I have to explain that what happens is just what I said here, which is it tends to compound, right? You know, if you're going to spend about a third of your year, not writing, not producing content, um, it's going to impact, I, I think, your final so, sort of how fast it'll take you to get the work done. And I think it'll impact the quality too. I think taking time away um, like that, I mean, a third of your year not writing, that's 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 definitely going to be impacting you, I, I think, like in a very, very severe way. Um, and so that, that tends to be why I, I advocate for um, sort of being consistent with this. And even when it comes to holidays, at least writing a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be the best. You don't have to put out a, a big session, but just be consistent and stick with it. Um, there's a big difference between a half hour of writing and no writing at all for a day. Um, there really is. You may not think it, but there really is. And then let the days that you're sick, that you are, um, that, that, that life gets in the way and you simply can't do it. Let those come up, um, you know, as they may and make those sort of your impromptu days off from writing. Um, but at least that, that that's what has worked for me. And so with that, I'm going to sign off here. I've got <laughs> many, many um, places to visit today. Um, well, not, not, not too many, um, three. But still, um, it's, a, it's a busy day, so I, I will see you all uh, tomorrow.